Well, the teaching course focuses on all mimics of limb girdle muscular dystrophy associated with uh, um, a high CK and manifesting with proximal muscle weakness. Uh, however, um, there will be special attention for disease uh, entities which are treatable or have important consequences for the patient or um, his or her family. Uh, spinal muscular atrophy uh, is currently a treatable uh, hereditary neuromuscular disease, uh, even the chronic progressive uh, forms like types three and four. Um, these diseases should not be missed. Um, an important message uh, in my talk will be that one should always think of uh, hypothyroidism um, if a patient has a high CK. Um, uh, always take a careful history of um, medication uh, because, for instance, statins uh, may give rise to uh, rhabdomyolysis, which can manifest with limb girdle muscle weakness and a very high CK. And withdrawing of the uh, statins instead of starting a, an extensive diagnostic evaluation is the consequence of recognizes this complication. Uh, limb girdle muscular dystrophy may mimic myositis and vice versa. Uh, and it goes without saying that this has important consequences for treatment. And finally, um, diseases like um, mitochondrial myopathies and myotonic dystrophy type 2 may present as a sort of limb girdle muscular dystrophy and an ac accurate diagnosis ac is extremely important in light of cardiac complications and of course counseling of the family members. Those are um, my messages and also include a differential diagnosis.